Uh, this video is about resetting a regular password or graphical password in Android. If you've forgotten the password or graphical password for Android, it's too early to give way to panic. You can restore access to your smartphone in a quick and easy way. There are several ways to unlock the device, so here we go. The first, the easiest and probably the most correct way to reset the regular password or graphical password in Android is to enter the data of the Google account with which your smartphone or tablet PC is synchronized. To unlock the device, just specify the email and password. To try this method, enter an incorrect graphical password five or more times until the device shows you a warning that it will be locked for 60 seconds. A button appears asking you if you forgot the graphical password, and when you choose it, you can enter your data and unlock the device. Please note that this method requires internet access, mobile connection, or Wi-Fi. If you've forgotten the password to the Google account, follow the link in the description to see how to learn it or hack it using one of the ways described in detail in our video. The second method is for advanced users, as it suggests connecting your device to a computer and using Command Prompt and ADB tool. ADB is a part of Android SDK, that's why for installing ADB to your computer you have to download SDK from the official website. To do it, go to the website developer.android.com. I'll leave the link to that page in the description. Download Android Studio by clicking on the corresponding button. And install it. Android SDK, which includes ADB, is a part of Android Studio. Earlier, you could install it as a standalone application, but now it's impossible. After installing this tool, run it and wait until it downloads and installs missing components to your computer. It will take some time. Now go to the following folder. See, Users, Username, App Data. This folder is hidden by default. Local, Android, SDK, Platform Tools. The file adb.exe is the adb tool you are looking for. Next, connect your smartphone or tablet to the computer. Don't forget, your device should have USB debugging enabled. Usually, when Android smartphones or tablets are connected to a computer, this option can be enabled. Launch the command prompt as administrator and use it to go to the folder containing the file adb.exe. Type the command adb devices. As a result, you will see your Android device with the status device or authorized. If the status is unauthorized, USB debugging is not enabled for your device yet. In that case, disconnect it from the computer and then connect again. If you are asked to enable USB debugging, confirm a choice. If there is no such question asked, it means USB debugging is not enabled on this device and you can't reset the regular graphical password with ADB. So you may go on to the next method. After you receive confirmation that USB debugging function is active, type the following commands in the command prompt one by one. I will leave them in the description below this video, as usual. After the command reboot, your smartphone or tablet PC will restart and boot again with its password or graphical password reset. That's all, the password is reset, while all data and installed apps are just in place. The third method is to reset the locked device to factory settings, or in other words, to make a hard reset. To do it, switch off your smartphone or tablet PC. After that, hold down a certain key combination. It differs depending on the device model. In the Recovery menu, select Wipe Data, Factory Reset. In our channel, you can find a very detailed video about how to reset a device. Follow the link in the description as usual. Remember, though, that using this method you will lose all data from the internal memory of your Android device. They include installed apps, connected accounts, SMS, and so on. Only photos, audio files, and other files in the memory card will be left intact. 
Now let's move to method 4 with the Google tool Find My Device. It's the same good old hard reset, but made from the Google account your device is connected to, and without pressing any key combinations. To do it, go to the page of Find My Device by Google. Find the link below this video. Log in to your Google account. If you've forgotten the password to the Google account and you can't access the Find My Device tool, follow the link in the description to see how to learn it or hack it using one of the ways described in detail in our video. You will see all devices connected to this account. Select the one you need if there are more than one device, choose Erase and Erase again. When the device is connected to the Internet for the first time, if it's not connected now, it will be factory reset, the password or graphical password will be reset too, and access to the device is now restored. Please remember that all data from the device will be erased. If you are a Samsung user, Method 5 is there for you. Owners of Samsung devices can unlock them if they have an active Internet connection and added a Samsung account. Samsung features its own service with the name Find My Mobile. I leave the link in the description. To use it, you should connect your device to a Samsung account and enable the remote control function. So, to reset your Samsung device, Go to the web page of Find My Mobile by Samsung and sign in. Use the login and password you have given when you signed up. By the way, you can also restore them if you forgot them, or hack them in the same way as you can do it with a Google account. The panel on the right will show you the status of the connected device. Select Unlock. Unlock again. Enter the account password again. After synchronization or when connected to the Internet for the first time, the regular password or the graphical password will be reset, and all data will be safe. Of course, these are not all possible ways of resetting a regular password or graphical password on Android devices. However, they might be the easiest and simplest for anyone to try. There are other ways as well, like refreshing firmware, deleting password files, gesture.key and or password.key, using TWRP recovery and so on. However, each of them should be a topic for a special video.